Hey everyone, so today is wash day for me and I noticed that I still have some shampoo in my hair. After shampooing my hair, um, my roots are getting extremely thick. So I thought that I was done shampooing my hair and I was getting ready to move to the conditioner step. But as you can see, especially in the top crown of my head, it's like really thick and coarse. So shampoo actually got stuck there. So I'm gonna have to re-rinse that out. But just giving you a look at how my hair looks right now. I know that I'm showing you the conditioner bottle, but I actually used the shampoo. I couldn't find it. Um, this is the Suave Almond and Shea Butter. I used that shampoo. And then what I deep conditioned with was this right here, the Silk Elements Strength and Silk Cholesterol. I set that in my hair for about, it was between 30 minutes and an hour. I deep conditioned with that. So here's what my hair looks like with the Silk Elements on it. And as you can tell, my roots are starting to look more and more texturized. And here's what the back of my hair looks like. I just put it all up into a ball. And here is after 30 minutes to an hour of the silk element sitting on my hair. And then I went ahead and rinsed it out. This is what my hair looks like once I rinsed it all out. And just giving you a close up of what my roots are looking like. So I am detangling upside down because Trina, one of my subscribers, told me to detangle the way that I washed my hair. So I always wash my hair upside down in the sink or the tub. So I was like, OK, well, let me try to detangle my hair upside down. And it actually is crazy, but it worked. <laughs> it worked a lot better than me trying to detangle the other way. So then um, after I did that, just flipped it back and then I'm going to continue to detangle now that I have my hair up towards the front but just showing you guys how my hair is looking right now it's um starting to look more frizzy as well like my relaxed hair I can tell it's starting to change it's starting to be more unruly um a little harder to manage um it definitely starts looking frizzy like and it's not as soft as it used to be. Like, it's, it's weird because, like, my relaxed hair is already treated. But now that I haven't been relaxing, it's, like, changing as well. Like, I expect my roots to change, but, like, my relaxed ends are changing. So, that's kind of weird and unexpected. Um, but I had been thinking about using a hot comb on my roots. But, like, everybody want, talks about heat damage and things like that. So, I don't know. This is where I want to cut my hair to, right here. I want to cut my hair right here to shoulder length. And a lot of you guys had told me to go for it. Some of y'all said no. But here's the next morning. Now tell me, does it look like my hair shrunk? I don't know if I'm tripping, but all I did literally was put a bunny on. And I woke up and took the bunny off. And let me know down, down below. Did my hair shrink? <laughs> so I've been wearing my hair up in a, like a little ponytail like this for the last few days. So as you can tell, my hair is kind of like freezy. It is on the dry side. So I did go to Walmart and went down the hair aisle and I got um, a few products that I'm gonna show you guys. Okay, I have a bag of products from Walmart. I'm just gonna go through these really, really quickly. This one right here is the Africa Pride Olive Miracle. It says 71 Leave-In Moisture Restore Curl Refresher. So to me, this seems like it would be a good leave-in conditioner and it's liquidy. So something that's not gonna weigh your hair down. So I'm interested in to try that. Deep conditioning olive and tea tree oils. The next one is the Cantu Avocado Hydrating Curl Activator with um, avocado oil and shea butter. Defines plus softens for frizz-free curls. So this seems like a moisturizer and then it says it's a curl activator. So I'm interested in putting this on my new growth to see how um, it reacts. This is in the same line. It's the Cantu Avocado Hydrating Gel with avocado oil and shea butter. It says flexible oil. I mean, I'm sorry, flexible hold. So that goes, they have a line of this at Walmart, like an avocado line. So um, I usually use the Got To Be Gel, but I'm interested in using this if it'll be more moisturizing for me so i've been hearing about hawaiian silky forever like since the beginning of my hair journey and i never bought this like i never once bought this so i said what whatever let me buy it like i'm buying stuff let me buy it it says 14 and 1 
No drip activator, moisturizes hair, defines curls, softens hair, adds shine, smooths dry scalp, reduces breakage, and strengthens for a healthy for healthy weaves and braids, repairs chemically damaged hair, none greasy detangles, increases body thermal protection, helps relieve burning sensation. And I'm going to make sure I try everything on there to see if they're telling the truth or not. <laughs> I'm going to test every one of them things to see. A lot of people um say that this is good. So let me know if anybody has tried this. Um, So I just went ahead and got it just to see. I also got this right here, the Soft Sheen Carson Care Carefree Curl Instant Activator. Dual conditioning for natural or curly hair. So these products that I'm getting, I'm also going to be putting them on my new growth and my transitioning hair just to see how they work, how they make, um, how it re reacts. I also wanted to get the S curl, but I didn't see it. The one in the um white and blue bottle, but I did not see it at the Walmart. So if I do get that, I'll add it later. If I get it from a different Walmart. Last but not least, I have so many of these. They're um the little satin bonnets. So I got another one of these because at the time I get worn out. I don't know if anybody else is and it just starts looking like it gets snags in it and it just starts looking like, you know, old. So I just went ahead and got another one of these. Okay, I also picked up this Cantu Moisturizing Curl Activator Cream. I used to use this on my kids when they were babies, and this works pretty good. So I'll try this again. And I got this detangler brush. Um, if I like this, I'll invest in a Demon brush. But for right now, this was like $5. So I was like, let me just grab this just to see if I like it. And I also got this Detangle and Smooth Shower Comb because I may start washing my hair in the shower. Not saying that I am, but if I do, I'll use this. And I'm just showing you right here how frizzy my relaxed hair looks. Even like around my edges, it's a little fuzzier than normal, but I guess it's just part of the process. All right, so I actually got tired of wearing my hair in that little frizzy ponytail ball. So I decided like, okay, I need to do something. So I'm going to put this leave-in conditioner spray in my hair just to get it a little moisturized. And then I'm going to put this black Jamaica castor oil in there to help keep some of that moisture in my hair. I'm definitely focusing on my edges and my ends. Definitely those two areas. And then I'm going to go ahead and detangle my hair so that I can get ready to put it in a protective style for a few days. So I'm basically going to wear a wig and I don't want to braid my hair. So I'm just going to put it in a ponytail, flip it up and then put the wig cap on. So I try to do this. I know you want it to lay as flat as possible, but I just do this so that I can get done quickly this is the wig that I'm going to be wearing right here I'm actually headed to work so I'm not going to wear it down like that I'm just going to put it in a ponytail but um, I'm also going to wear it with the headband just to make it look a little more a little more normal I guess you could say I am not um, good at baby hairs and making wigs blend and making it look super real but I did do the best that I could and I just wanted to give my hair a break from just being in that little ponytail ball. So I just decided to put it up for a few days in a wig. So I'm going to go ahead and um, put the headband on with this wig. Um, I, took the, I took the behind my ears, then put the headband on. I'm just going to comb it out before I put it back into a ponytail just to make sure I got all the tangles out of it. This is a really pretty wig by the way but I'm just gonna wear it back for this week so like I said I'm not a professional at doing um making bl um, wigs blend and stuff like that but I'm gonna go ahead and just put the edge control around my edges and I also have really long sideburns so I like to put edge control on my sideburns as well to me it just helps to give more of a polished look so let me know what you guys think down in the comment box if this was helpful please thumbs up Love you guys. If you have any questions or comments, just let me know. Thanks for watching.